Next year, Louisiana rice growers near the Lake Charles area could have increased access to global markets for their product. As This Week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine tells us, a planned $2.5 million grain loading facility in Jeff Davis Parish could bring Louisiana rice to millions of hungry customers south of the border. Rice growers eyeing new markets have staked out a footprint for a new $2.5 million grain loading facility here in Lacassine. The South Louisiana Rail Facility LLC could move nearly 800 metric tons of Louisiana rice. SLRF Chairman Chris Crelo says the facility will expand marketing options for rice growers in the region. We have a park here at Lacassine that had a, the two miles of rail spur capabilities which by having that you're able to uh, do what is known as unit trains. More trains mean cheaper transportation cost, which is, uh, gives the uh, exporters a competitive edge. Growers could get an edge into expanding rice markets like Mexico. In fact, more than 150 rice growers raised about $800,000 before the state bond commission approved the project. In a public-private partnership, the Jeff Davis Parish Police Jury will lease the facility to the SLRF. Juror and rice farmer Mark Poussaint says the project will bolster ag infrastructure in the parish. Over half of the, the project was already in existence. You have two one-mile spurs, property, million and a half dollar scale system on the I-10 corridor in the heart of rice growing country. Along with rice, the South Louisiana Rail Facility will be able to load and ship other grains like soybeans. By June or July of next year, project leaders say these tank cars you see behind me will be grain cars full of Louisiana rough rice headed to Mexico. We're viewing this thing just as another tool, just as, as, uh, as farmers have you know, multiple tools in their yard to work the ground with. This is going to give us another tool to market our crop with. According to Poussaint, harvest pressure on area farmers would be reduced once the loading site is completed next year. We're six weeks ahead of the Delta. The meals in Mexico are going to be in demand for long grain, qual good quality rice, and uh, this will be uh, an advantage for them. This railroad and a new grain loading facility could lead to many advantages for farmers next year. In Lacassine, I'm A.J. Sabine for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. The final plans for the project should be completed by the end of this year.